Well, happening later tonight, city council will take a vote that could change protests like this one outside a Charlotte abortion clinic. For years, people near the clinic have complained about the loud noise from all the protesting. Channel 9 government reporter Joe Bruno is live at Uptown. Joe, some claim that this would violate their free speech. Alison, in the next 30 minutes, uh, Charlotte City Council doors will open. But in the meantime, you can see that the groups have gathered here in the lobby. Uh, the anti-abortion group Love Life Charlotte is uh, down there singing and praying. And then if you look just north of them, you can see a couple signs over there. Uh, one of the signs says harassment is not free speech. That is the, uh, those are the supporters of the clinic who have gathered in that corner. But you can see uh, most of the speakers here tonight are with the anti-abortion group. Love Life Charlotte. Uh, the anti-abortion protesters believe that the changes up for discussion tonight violate the First Amendment. The city says they are content neutral. As of this afternoon, 108 people have signed up to speak on the potential changes. Charlotte City Council is considering a 200-foot noise buffer outside churches, schools, and medical facilities. The buffer would ban excessive noise and amplified sound. The changes will impact the daily protesters that protest outside the abortion clinic in southeast Charlotte, but the city says the changes are not being made to specifically target that group. With so many speakers signed up, council members are preparing to hear passionate arguments from both sides. I think it will be a very intense, lively discussion, debate uh, amongst the speakers, yes. With so many people signed up to speak tonight, 108 as of last check, each person will have only one minute to address Charlotte City Council. One thing the city says is that this, whatever changes council decides on, it will not ban protests altogether outside the clinic, just that amplified sound and excessive noise. Allison. All right, Joe, we know you'll be following this and bring us an update tonight at 10 and 11 to let us know how council votes. Thanks.